We've come to Ely, Minnesota to visit the International Wolf Center and see real wolves up close, talk to the wolf experts here, and learn how to make Wolf Quest even more realistic. The Wolf Center has been one of our science advisors since the very start of the project, and it's always fun to go up and see the place in person. They have some terrific exhibits about wolves. They have some great programs where you can see and touch animal parts. Here's a deer leg and a wolf skull, so you can see some damage that it can do. And here's a moose leg, so you can see why two blows from a moose hoof is all it takes to do in a wolf. And of course they have their pack of ambassador wolves out in the back enclosure. And we met with Lori Schmidt, the wolf curator who's been one of our advisors for so many years. My name is Lori Schmidt, I'm the wolf curator at the International Wolf Center. I've lived here since 1989, so I had an opportunity to hand raise and get to know the personalities of each and every one of these wolves. Typical things that we do is daily physical checks to make sure, um, you know, obviously ectoparasites, you know, ticks and uh, the other things that may, you know, cause a problem for an animal. Big thing for us is be aware of every situation. So we have monitors, we have cameras, we look at uh, footage and say, well, you know, yesterday I noticed that a urination was over a minute, which is a sign of a urinary tract infection. So we keep track of everything here. We got a lot of great information from Lori, which we'll share in other videos. But here I want to show you the nighttime feeding that we saw. They feed the wolves once a week on Saturday night. And tonight, it was a deer carcass, roadkill, that they brought in for the wolves. Here, Denali, one of the older and more dominant wolves, he's not hungry right now, but he's definitely going to keep the younger wolves away from his food. Aiden, who is the dominant wolf in the pack, has got a deer leg here, and Grayson, who's not even two years old, he's an arctic wolf, would sure like a bite. He'll settle for a bone for the moment, while Aiden really enjoys his meaty deer thigh. These wolves have been socialized since they were pups, so they don't mind being close to us, but there is a glass wall between us and the wolves, so we can't hear any of their vocalizations. And Grayson just uh, can't keep away. He uh, really wants some of that meat. So what's Aiden going to do about this? A little warning there. And a charge. Aiden rolls over immediately. He's still a pup. Let's see that again in slow motion. And still Grayson's trying to get around to that food. Is Aiden losing interest in the food? I guess not. So now Aiden really is walking away, so Grayson sees this as his opportunity, but Just not sure if it's safe. And Grayson finally gets his meal. And eventually all the wolves settle down to digest their food for a couple days. You can see a lot more videos on the International Wolf Center's YouTube channel, so check it out.